Welcome back to the Arnold Lang Show. We're sitting here with uh, one of the newer Jets, Brett Lockett, safety. So what's it like being in that secondary now with Rivas gone? You know, uh, it's going to be uh, definitely some scrutiny on that because he, he, he left. And uh, how do you feel... Uh, how do you feel about that? Do you think it's uh, going to be a much different team now or yeah, is it going to be a fun challenge? Uh, for you, for a chance to play, it's better, right? I mean, you know, he's, he's gone and, you know. Well, I don't, I don't think it's a better chance to play. I mean, right. he, he's a great asset to our team. And if he was there, I would, I would you know, love it. You right. know, two lockdown corners, you know, one of the best in the NFL, and then Cromartie's another one. That's another you know, great know. corner. So, How's the new kid doing from Alabama? Um, we haven't seen what he's done yet. He hasn't uh, practiced yet. So, oh, yeah. Wow. So once he does, you know, I definitely uh, <laughs> have to give you a call and let you know. But yeah, he, he's, man. you know, he's a great guy, and he seems like he's going to be able to uh, bring a lot to the team as now, well. We, so. we hate to do this to you, but every New York Jet has to go through this. It's sort of a test we have when we bring you in here. But you're a new Jet. We need you to name as many of Antonio Cromartie's kids as you can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, now, uh, he's got currently 12. He just said twins. and um, Are you serious? Yeah, he's got 12 now. Yeah, tw wow. Can you name any of them? I'm I, can't, I can't name any. Antonio. <laughs> Antonio Jr. <laughs> Can we print them out, please? Because we had we did, we used to do an Antonio Cromartie's kid feature. We featured one of his kids each week for wow. about 12 weeks, okay. and we gave away a prize. Uh, there's Little Jersey. He named one Jersey, which is nice for New Jersey, I think. And there's uh, Jovan. I think there's a Jesus. Uh, there might be an Antonio Jr., but we're gonna print, I'm going to print those out for you. You should know them. Okay, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> because the thing, he doesn't know them all. <laughs> he is a, uh, he's but, an amazing player. But he's now. a great player. He's, yeah. he's, a good, he's a good dude, too. That's what I hear. I hear he's a great guy. Yeah. And um, I don't know. It's just, I, and again, part of me, it, if I was, you know, uh, making $30 million as a rich guy, I'd like to spread my seed, too. That's what the Romans used to do. <laughs> you know, like a man gets, like, money. And you, part of the manly instinct is I want to spread my seed. I just want to have kids all over the place. And also, it's good insurance. Maybe one of them will become a billionaire one day, you know? Yeah, it's <laughs> not the biological imperative, man. Are you a married guy? No, I'm not. You like, you enjoy, and you enjoy. Let's say you went to UCLA, man. I shot the movie Old School, okay? I'm in a few scenes in the scene we shot at UCLA. God, the broads. Just, I mean, what, what, what are the broads like if you're a player there? This must be insane. No, it's amazing. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I mean, I, I was there for two weeks, and I almost got laid. <laughs> Look at me. Uh, but, uh, no, I mean, uh, now you started, uh, you're from L.A. What part of L.A. are you from? I grew up in Diamond Bar. It's okay. about 30 minutes outside of L.A. Oh, what's it called? Diamond Bar. Diamond Bar. Yes. Okay. Um, and you started this. See, again, a lot of people go for all these crazy causes, but this, to me, if you're a football player, this should be what you, your charity is about. It's just about helping kids who need it to get because uh, the NFL's a ticket for kids out. Absolutely. But there could be other ways to do it because let's face it. I mean, even like you're saying, it's hard. It's just hard to make the NFL. So what do you guys focus on? Just helping kids stay out of trouble and and be productive, right? Primarily, I mean, putting role models in the inner cities and allowing them to uh, give kids an example of what it is to uh, actually succeed outside of. Right. you know where they're growing up at right yeah that's good man i mean because a lot of people like if you're an nfl player to me not you don't have an obligation nobody does because that puts pressure on people but uh, before anything else you say uh, just help kids out uh, because people look up to i mean if i was an 11 year old kid somebody in the nfl man I mean, i'd be like whoa i mean you really are a god to these guys it's, uh, John, of course, neglected all that, and uh, you know. No, no. Listen. Well, do we have a picture of John? I want to show John. Just see it. Look at how it's changed the league. This is John when he was an eagle, Brett. This is really Brett, embarrassing. It was a joke. And uh, it, picture a little kid as a role model it seeing was. John. <laughs> now you keep saying it was a joke. It but... was a joke. It was for the media. Look, look at that, Brett. My look my hair right was long. See the TV. And I first? decided. Oh, wow. I decided. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I decided to cut a mullet oh, just as a you, joke I'm, I'm for the media guy. I'm glad you let it go. <laughs> as a now, joke. Brett, as a if you saw that, if that was one of your teammates as an African-American, aren't you thinking Klan right there? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I had, hey, when I was in Oakland, I had the uh, the elder statesman of the team ask me to cut my rat tail off because I grew a rat tail once, too. That Did you do, would like you that. do that like, for, to be intimidating or something? No, just for fun. I mean, just, oh, okay. I, I, because I didn't have to cut my hair for a job, I didn't have to be corporate. I just didn't. Right. And then uh, I finally cut it all off and left the long rat tail. Is it? And we ended up going 4 and 0 and then losing four games in a row. Right. And Trace Armstrong and Bill Romanowski yeah. Uh, yeah. said, Rich, you got to cut that off. It's a distraction because it was flapping out of my helmet on there the jumbo truck. Look at you there. That's a, that's a ball player. Oh, wow. 
But uh, <laughs> those know, were the days, man. I watched Any Given Sunday, and there's something fascinating me about that movie with the football team is the different cultures that clash. Like you had like the linemen listening to heavy metal. Yeah. And, you know, everybody, I mean, is that true in football still? Do you guys oh, like? Absolutely. Uh, if, you, if you go into a, into the locker room after we work out, it's about six different songs playing at the same time. <laughs> yeah. I swear to God, I've never seen anything like it. I'm like, I don't know what I'm listening to right now. I know yeah. it, it melts together. You guys might invent the new music. It I, might melt together. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but you do. You judge people based on how hard they want to work and how much they're contributing as a teammate. I mean, right. that's it. Right. It doesn't matter what they're listening to or anything like that. I mean, it, you, there's it's so much more uh, receptive and open than real society when you're dealing with guys playing a sport together. It really is. It's right. just well, like you respect people for what they give you as a teammate. So coming from the, the Pats now, you're on the Jets. It's a big rivalry. That for, when do you, you know on the schedule when you have them? Do they, do the schedules come out yeah, yet? Yeah, I, I believe it's week two is our first game against them. At home or on the road? I think it's uh, there. Oh, it's there. Yeah, have to check it again. You're going to have adrenaline pumping for that, oh, man. Yeah. Right? That's oh, going to yeah. be fun. It's going mean, to be a lot of fun. That's why you do it. That's great. Uh, well, listen, I don't know. I mean, I... I the Jets are, I'm a Giant fan, but I root for the Jets. If the Giants aren't in, I root for the Jets. And again, I, 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 I feel bad for their fans the last couple of years because uh, they had those two years where they got to the AFC Championship game. Right. Mark Sanchez, what do you think of Mark Sanchez? Well, I actually grew up with Mark. We played him twice in oh, high school. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Oh, really? I'm right. at a big 52, uh, you know, in a winning streak when they were killing everybody out there in California. Oh, my God. What was it? 52 and what? He, he, he won 52 straight games. So, <laughs> or their school. He, was, he wasn't there all 52 games. But You're he, kidding yeah, me? 52 wow. games straight. Huh. Yeah. So, so, largest, so you know Mark really well. Then. I know him pretty well. Okay. Went to USC, you know, rival school, so... Is he holding yeah. up all right? Because God, no one could have media-wise a worse end of the season last year with the, you know, hitting the, <laughs> hitting last, his head into the guy and the fumble oh, and the. Yeah. But but the uh, he seems like uh, a guy who could get it together. I hope. I mean, know? one thing about Mark, he's a competitor and he's always going to come and work. So I mean, any guy like that can bounce back from anything. Right. Right. I, there's just there has to be a breaking point though. I mean, the last two seasons. He's what is he turned the ball over well, fifty two times? The or management something. there bringing in bringing in uh, bringing in Tebow man that breathing down your neck that, exactly that, that that's, that's got to hurt you yeah, know and yeah. then the scrutiny of the New York media on top of it I I have a lot of respect for him just because he's not in, in a sane asylum right now <laughs> the, the type of scrutiny I that mean, these yeah but you have to on. you have to look at the the line last year you know the the line wasn't the best last year they had no receivers everybody got hurt that's right the yeah, receiver you know they were talking to Cromartie about trying well, to who do they have go out and catch some passes who's I mean, catching passes now I mean who who looks good in in OTAs Collins is looking really good okay he's looking very good um you know um we got a few guys looking good Curly's looking good uh, how, how fast you run the 40 in? Right? Uh, four, four, five. Wow. <laughs> see, yeah, you're one of these guys. You're a football player, but if you see you in, in a bar, you look like a regular guy. Like if you were right. in a suit or something, like right. I might, like I might fight you in a bar if I were well. And like you know, after you get done laughing at that, like <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why it's dangerous. I mean, well, what I, are you six six one two yeah, twenty? Six, one. Yeah, you're twenty running a four four five I, in a bar. I think you'd probably. Steer clear. <laughs> I'd have to try my, I don't know the stats is my point. <laughs> wow. Well, all right. See, yeah. See, that's the thing that, sure. that regular people don't realize. They don't understand what how we work out. I mean, you know, because you're a football player. Right. We, our workout is like the closest version of gladiators there is. In I, can, I can imagine it would have to be. You yeah, know, you to, know. Training, to compete. You're training to try to brutalize people one-on-one. -on -one. Right. right. I mean, you're training to beat someone. Exactly. Physically. Exactly. And so. mentally, you know, and again, what do you think about how the NFL is going with the, the Roger Goodell thing with the concussions and everything like that? Do you think it's a league that's going to change Absolutely. 15 years from now? Well, and do you think that's a good thing necessarily for the game of football? If you're an owner. If you're an owner. And it's all okay. business now. Right, right, you know, right. It's, it's all about TV ratings. It's all about making money. So, um, I mean, I, I I mean, honestly, I think it's soft. You know, As a safety, it's hard it's for you, man, because you, you're getting these penalties. You know, Everything's protecting the receiver, right? Yeah, and, right. And, yeah. and then now they have the penalty with the running back where he yeah. can't you know, dip his shoulder if, he's, if you're just st standing there. You can't dip your shoulder. Yeah. I mean, how do you stop? How do you when you have adrenaline yourself? going, how do you stop from doing that? I don't think about that. Yeah, you can't. You know? 
Uh, so uh, that's that's uh, aggravating you. It, it's, it's, it has. Uh, yeah. It has, but you, you know you have to deal with it. So right. Anything else? Everything changes. Now you're right. I, I think uh, I think a lot of it's political correctness, uh, like on the owner's part, where they want to seem compassionate about stuff. But it is. It, it becomes a business. You know. Like, uh, well, I, I don't know. Listen. I mean, have you have you enjoy the the New York scene so far? Do you have you got a chance to check out the the clubs and everything? A little bit. Yeah. A little yeah. Bit. Not, Just not be too careful much. with that. Yeah, not too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Someone's got to. Someone's got to tell some of these athletes that uh, you know, uh, uh, especially uh, some of the Knicks have been crazy this year. With the J.R. Smith, someone's going to tell me the clubs yeah. are open in July as well, not just the <laughs> season. Uh, well, I, listen, I uh, I wish you nothing but the best, man. Thanks for coming by. Oh, thank you uh, we always me. appreciate when a legitimate player comes in here. And uh, your foundation again is the Looking Forward Foundation. And uh, you know, we look forward to a great season with you, man. Uh, good luck. Thank you. I appreciate All right? it. And if you ever want to come back and hang out, uh, come back. Oh, I'll be and, more than happy to. And uh, just just try to learn Antonio's kids' names. That's uh, <laughs> that's the main thing we like here on the show. Uh, Brett Lock. At the Artie Lang Show, and we come back.